let's look at this objectively. This is going to be an educational video. The theme. I'm going to do a live stream on this in the future. Narcissistic personality disorder. We're going to dive in to all the uh, 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 mental illnesses that men usually get the the labels for. You know, one of the things that men always get the accusation of is being accused of being a narcissist. Right. Or that really a lot of us are undiagnosed narcissist NPD. And what women like to claim is that their BPD, bipolar uh, disorder, whatever that bipolar personality disorder. That's what they like to claim in like OCD and stuff like that. That's what they like to claim. But not many of them like to claim narcissistic personality disorder. Here we have Megan Rapinoe, who is going to be one of my case studies for the future live stream. But I want to introduce you to this. This is going to be almost like a beta project to that. But Megan Rapinoe, she is a. Amer a woman's American soccer uh, icon, a woman, a woman, a, a woman's uh, a American woman's soccer icon, uh, World Cup winner. I think two time World Cup winner, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. But I think it's one time World Cup winner. Um, very, uh, really good in her day. She, I think she did win Women's Player of the Year at one point. Um, but her personality is god awful. <laughs> her personality is that of somebody that's just not likable just just not likable to the public eye um and it's not like she's done anything wrong that's just her personality and she brought that upon herself she has nobody to blame but herself now recently in the first few minutes of her last championship game um in the nwsl championship um in her league her in her domestic league she tore her achilles and it was almost like you know do you know that that's kind of one of the worst ways to end your career uh, going out on a torn Achilles, you know, so that's, you know, that's a shame there. But Megan Rapinoe is going to have a say on her injury. Let's take a listen. I thought about it a little bit. I mean, you know, I'm not a religious person or anything. And if there was a God, like this is proof that there isn't. It's fucked up. Um, so, yeah, it just, it's just fucked up because like, six minutes in, it's so bad. Yeah, let's listen to it again. Let's listen to it again. I mean, you know, I'm not a religious person or anything. And if there was a God, like, this is proof that there isn't. It's fucked up. Um, so, yeah, it just, it's just fucked up because, like, six minutes in, it's just so bad. Yes, you're good. No way. Um, okay, let's break this down. Let's break this down. Let's break this down. Yeah, I thought about it a little bit. I mean, you know, I'm let's not break a religious this down. person or anything. So, because she got injured, um, because she personally got injured, since she's not a religious person, this is proof that there is no God because she got injured in the worst way. Now, what, um, what Re Megan Rapinoe fails to mention is, um, first of all, you're a really old, older player. Not a trash player. You're not trash. No, no don't, don't get me wrong. But you're an older woman's player. Now, I know Achilles, Achilles is different from ACL, but let's keep in mind. I know her history a little bit. She's had a really bad injury past. I think she has torn her ACL, not her Achilles, her ACL about two or three times. I know minimum she's torn her ACL two times. I think it's three. I don't feel like really doing the research on that end, but I think it's three. But it's minimum. I know she, she has tore her ACL two times already. Now, what you have to understand about the body is your body ends up comp, um, overcompensating for the imbalances, right? So say it's like, say if somebody starts getting into an injury run, it's kind of hard to get out of it because a lot of times you're hiding injury. Say if you're hiding a shoulder injury, you end up overcompensating for your other shoulder or you start even overcompensating on your lower extremities and you, you don't realize it because your body is overcompensating for where you're hurt. Say if, you know, especially if you're out for a period of time, say you get it, uh, you tear your ACL, right? It takes a while to come back. Not just, not just, we're not just talking about the nine months of rehab before you come back. We're talking about since you haven't played, though, those, those same guys that tore their ACL probably two weeks in is going to, they're going to get a, a calf injury or they're going to get an, another muscle injury because their muscles have not been working for a while. Right now, or say if you've been dealing with 
uh, a hip injury, then all of a sudden you get a calf injury. You know what I mean? Because your body, your your body is one unit. Especially they've done research now. They're talking about there are guys now who are now putting out up front when they're talking about the fascia, whatever your feet, basically, where basically your health, your overall health comes from your feet. And basically, if your foot, your foundation is off, even just by a little bit, it can literally throw off your whole body. Right. So with a person at Megan Rapinoe's age. Right. And the limited minutes that she gets, she gets already. She's not like OD getting so many minutes as she as she did. And on top of that, with the reg, uh, with her, her being an injury prone person. Taking account to her age, taking her account, her tearing her ACL three times. I, I know minimum two times. It was bound to happen that she was going to end up tearing something else very significant if she kept on playing. Maybe not this game. You know, that's just a case of bad luck. You know what I mean? But clearly her foundation in her feet. Clearly something's off there. That happens to a lot of athletes. That doesn't just happen to her. Now, when we talk about injuries, female athletes are prone to ACL tears. They're prone to more serious injuries. It's just because that's just how the female body is. It's not really built for for basically that kind of physicality. So much so that if you know if a woman really builds up her physicality, it could actually affect her fertility if she goes too hard. Like you know when you talk about the military girls, there are certain training that military women do that you know ends up actually ends up affecting them physically. That it changes them physically. And it affects their their fertility. It affects their uh uh, uh their, their their cycle. It affects affect their affects their mental everything. So it's what happened to Ma- Megan Rap- Rapinoe can be explained, um, just medically. You know, now people have to also uh give. I, I'll say this: you have to give Megan Rap- Rapinoe a pass. Like I said, she is an athlete. Even though she's taking the social justice warrior thing too far, I believe she loves to play soccer. And she's still emotional about um, um, about her tearing her Achilles on her last game ever as a soccer player. So this is like this is her last game. And you you have to feel for her in that in that in that in that instance. So her emotions are really high. She's still very upset. She's hiding it very well, but she's very upset. And, um, you know, when women get upset, they say shit. (laughs) They say shit where it's like bruh and this is where i come in we go here what are the symptoms of narcissistic personality disorder or actually let's start with the definition this is from the mayoclinic.org let's read the official definition of narcissistic personality disorder narcissistic Personality disorder is a mental health condition in which people have an unreasonably high sense of their own importance. They need and seek too much attention and want people to admire them. People with this disorder may lack the ability to understand or care about the feelings of others. But behind this mask of extreme confidence, they are not sure of their self-worth and are easily upset by the slightest criticism. Now, anybody that's been paying attention to Megan Rapinoe, especially since basically past 2014 this literally describes her this is in this is a clear case of an undiagnosed narcissistic personality disorder person she's clearly that that's clearly her and when you read that definition this definition most women have this <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yo it's crazy so that's why i i, I be like when, when people talk about megan rapping her, she's not the only one with this this disorder. How many times? Look at this right here. Let's look at this definition again. Have an unreasonably high sense of their own importance. So if you see a girl on IG talking about zodiac signs, that's it. Case closed. Uh, <laughs> they need and seek too much attention and want people to admire them. Now that's clearly Megan Rapinoe. Her stances, her political stances, is really just. A lot of the things that she's doing, she's trolling for attention and she really thinks very high of herself. But right here, but behind this mask of extreme confidence, they are not sure of their self-worth and are easily upset by the slightest criticism. Now, let's continue the video 
And I want to point something out in this video, which people are not not pointing out. Up. Um, so yeah, it just so that you hear that laugh in the background by one of the, some of the reporters and the troll face that she makes. She's like, "Well, yeah, that's the re that's the kind of reactions that she wants." But watch this. <laughs> it's just up because like, six minutes in. <laughs> it's so bad. So you hear the giggling, and she realized what she said. She got the troll response that she wanted. But she's literally looking back like, oh, Lord, I, I, I probably should have not has said that I'm, I'm a bit in, I'm being a bit in my feelings right now. That's the kind of people people are, are skipping over this. So behind that mask of confidence, it's really she's just like, oh. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm effing up right now. I'm effing up. You know what I mean? So. This is why I, I, I would say this in her defense, I would give her a pass for this, because, first of all, like I said, she is. She has she, not only is she just just a level one narcissist, she has narcissistic personality disorder. So when shit hits the fan, she's always going to make it about herself. And that's not just her that acts like that. So, you know, the 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 number one. Oh, let, let actually let me let this play. Out. Yes, but he's no <laughs> so that reaction <laughs> yeah. at the end that actually said a lot. That actually said a lot. OK. So what I want to do here is this. What I want to do here is this. <laughs> you saw the it's like smug lesbian says this. Oh, Lord. I will say this. I'll say this because I'm going to deal with I'm going to deal with this narcissistic personality disorder. I am going to do a live stream of this and I'm going to go through all of these. All of these, you know, mental. I'm going to do like a mental health show and really start debunking certain things and actually point the fingers to where they need to be pointed at. But let's 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 um let me put it back on me real quick. Let me put it back on me. I think we need to take a look into this, right? I say give Megan Rapino a pass. I think people are taking her too seriously. I think we I think we need to give her a pass. This is why. I already explained this was her last game, right? Um she tore her Achilles, the worst time to do it. And she's still upset about that. And this is somebody who I believe someone who is clearly a narcissist, someone who has narcissistic personality disorder. A disorder that like women like to claim like all of these other things are wrong with this. I'm suffering from mental health. I'm suffering from this illness and this and blah, 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 blah. But they never want to claim that because if they were to introduce themselves as hi, I have NPD. This is where if if the world knows that you have NPD. Anytime you point the finger, people are going to look at you first and question your intentions, which you really should be doing from everybody else. But women have the automatic. I'm a victim. Please listen to me. He he did something to me or she did something to me. And they and people listen and take it seriously. But Megan Rap Rap Rapino is a narcissist and has narcissistic personality disorder. Now, she knew she fucked up when she said, uh, it's, this is proof that I'm not, she goes, I'm not a believer, but clearly what happened to me is proof that there is no God. And when she thought about it afterwards and after hearing the laughter and the laughter from her teammates, she realized that she got in her feelings. Now, she's not going to admit that, but you can see it like the way she just every time that Mega Rapino has done something, you know. Uh, breaking the mold with, with what she's trying to say or she's trying to challenge something or she says something politically out there she just usually has that same face the troll face like see I got you but and, but she'll just stay like that with that face that that smug face she was not smug the whole time she was she's just started giggling like almost like a school girl she's like oh I can't believe I just said that <laughs> it's almost like a middle school girl when she says something a little bit out of pocket and she realizes oh I probably should have not said that because she realized she made herself look bad so now you get, <laughs> I already know the, the conservatives are like, <laughs> we're, we're about tight about this, but I, I saw well, the funniest uh, reactions I saw to it is like, no, you getting injured was actually proof that God does exist. <laughs> and also this is another accusation that uh, the believers always throw on the non-believers where basically they believe that non-believers by them blaming God saying there's there's a blame if, if there is a god it's all his fault you're 
unknowingly acknowledging his existence in the first place. So how can how can you be a non-believer? They would just basically you're just a person that hates God or the idea of that. There's somebody governing you, somebody outside of yourself. Right. So that's the accusation that believers usually throw on non-believers, like basically saying that non-believers are full of cap. You clearly believe in something because you're blaming something for whatever went wrong in your life. And that's basic. You're, but you're still acknowledging that there is something there. And that's and you're only blaming that thing because something went wrong with you or you didn't get your way. So that is a fair criticism from the believers to the non-believers. Now, I just look at it in know, uh, like like, of course, like a girl like Me Megan Rapinoe is a non-believer, you know, by, you know, she, for now, <laughs> for now, you know. But um, that's how I look at it. This is a person. This is clear, just narcissistic personality disorder in full blown display. Now, I need you the the general public to watch out for signs like this this especially in most women that you meet when you talk especially you talking about american women and see if they when I, the definition i read out to you if they match those definitions i can clearly in uh point out megan rapinoe as a person that has narcissistic personality disorder now let's see the people in your life that also have this thing but are walking around undiagnosed Maybe they need to be labeled. 